perversion, garbage lifestyle. Garbage lifestyle. Well, your greetings and salutations to the crowd at home. Hey. Fuck you, Fayetteville. Hey, motherfuckers. Welcome to, uh, welcome to your show of shows. I'm Sid Caesar, and to my far left is Imogene Coca, and this is our bastard ass baby, That's uh, right. Gerald. Uh, actually, actually, this is Jet Black, and the Right Reverend Shannon X. Kane, and I'm the Right Reverend C.F. Robertson. Hi. Hi. Howdy. And we're going to try to not let it fall into Thorazine mode here, but just remember, you're our bitch. We're here to entertain you, but you have to make us happy, or you get one of these. That's the important thing. That's the attitude that you have to have when you watch the show. You are our bitch. And you will always be our bitch. And you will bitch. appreciate it, or else. You'll be our bitch and you'll like it. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about the newspapers and the fun that you can have with the newspapers. Now, newspapers have a long history in America. They have kind of a warm place in everyone's heart and they're a chance for history to be manipulated and lies to be told and the Chamber of Commerce to sell real estate and all that other horse shit. But, uh, yeah, I need to get you know, plenty of opportunities for uh, so-called writers to basically bash and beat up on you know, innocent citizens so they can help their buddies in City Hall and uh, you know, be good stand-up uh, shills to the corporate masters and the young executives and whatnot. Big huge bitches. Yeah, but occasionally you do find interesting tales. And so I bought this fish wrap yesterday and uh, have this thing here. Okay, Gorilla tampons, as we like to think about yeah. it. Student found with guns suspended may face expulsion. Oh, and shit, expulsion for having a gun yeah, in Arkansas, so. no less. Okay, a West, Camp, a West Campus Technical Center student could face expulsion after Fayetteville police reportedly found six guns in his vehicle parked on school property Wednesday afternoon. It was his car. Fayetteville school district officials said the decision to expel the 17-year-old student could only be made by the Fayetteville Board of Education. It is zero tolerance for drugs and guns on school property, said Ellen Goldborn. Director of School and Community Relations for the district. There is no acceptable reason whatsoever for a student to bring guns onto the school campus. You see, now this is what's wrong with America, damn it. See, now, just just think about that. If the if the Littleton shooters had lived, they might have gotten expelled. That's yeah. right, damn it. Now, Christ's sake, I mean, suspended may face expulsion. I really think they ought to give this kid another chance. I think he was just having a bad day. Yeah. And we all have bad days now. Yeah, don't we? Bad sure. days. You bring guns to work, to school, drugs, money. I mean... They probably have a bad hair day or something. And, uh, bad hair day. That's and right. these people are just uh, wanting to break this kid's balls over nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's just a bad product or bad byproduct of uh, our stupid society with their oh god with just misplaced priorities. It's not like any student in Arkansas is bright enough to qualify. Right? Yeah, well, one hasn't yet, and uh, well, those you know, uh, those kids. In I mean, you get these, well. you get these. Well, you know, those the there was that one that one uh, genetic failure of a kid who gun you know shot that officer go to him and, well, I've got the officer in Farmington some kind of a medal or something like that because uh, he was stupid enough to, like, push the kid's buttons, but I don't know, other than that, so, do I really want to say that, you know, Farmington, Farmington's not far away from here, I could, well, it I could gain a prize, which is great, it was very Grove, was it, was it Prairie Grove? I think yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. The officer in question is, you know, now a, a decorated hero and supposedly, at least according to one, you know, Farmington resident I spoke to him once, the guy had a reputation for being a dick. You don't hear about that in the newspapers because, you know, I mean, that doesn't sell real estate. But, you know, that's what I've heard from ordinary citizens. So just remember, if you push a kid's buttons and they can pull a gun and send him to jail, you can have a medal too. It's all yeah. hearsay though. You, you can know. be a decorated hero. I don't know this you guy. You don't have to be a cop. You can just push a kid's button until he gets a gun and like everyone will treat you like a hero but <laughs> basically you step on him or shoot him or whatever. So yeah, so go out there right now and act like the biggest dick on earth. To your kids and good guy them, badge. And push them. Good guy and badge. Push them and then you'll get your good guy badge when the kid finally gets a gutful of it and pulls a gun on your stupid ass. So, so, uh, you know, hey, just uh, go for the gusto, dickhead. Yeah, go, go for the gusto, dickhead. That should be the title of the book. Um. <laughs> That's the presidency of George Bush. Go for the gusto, dickhead. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's roll. There's another one I'm getting real fucking tired of hearing. Let's yeah. roll, guys. Let's roll. Let's roll with cultural necrophilia. Yeah. Um, and that is cultural necrophilia, by the way, and very, very cynically marketed. But I'm not going to dwell on that because we could go on forever. Uh, but hey. speaking of the good guy badge, how about this joker in Alabama with the Ten Commandments? Uh, uh, he, he and his Ten Commandments can eat me. What, what, what about all this stuff? I've been going, around, go, okay. going around to the convenience stores and they have like all this in God we trust stuff. Uh, what is that? Someone's Not in a convenience store. What, you mean yeah. on the money? Well, they're talking about taking that off. <laughs> That's what they're telling me. Oh. You know, and it's like... You know, money being, you know, the sort of symbol of uh, morality that it is, I mean, of course we should have that, right? Yeah, I mean, ask, you know, ask the folks at Enron, yeah, you know, Enron. at Enron, <laughs> talk to them about money as the symbol of morality. Yeah, or, you know, your average street gangster that, you know, blows people shit away for, yeah. you know, or a few yeah. hundred. Or, the, or, you know, or Larry Flynn. Because or, you know, once you take Or the Chamber of Commerce or newspaper editors or whatever, you know. Right, because once you take that off of there, man, I mean, then you're going to see some real shit hitting the fan. When you, as soon as you take in God, we trust off of the money, then you'll Then it just becomes the plain old ordinary root of all evil. You know? <laughs> yeah. And Christ's sake, total, what's this world coming to? And then you'll get total anarchy and, and uh, we'll start uh, well, setting we should be the buildings so on. Yeah, well, we should be so lucky, but, you know, I'm talking about the kind of anarchy that's not, that has nothing to do with real anarchy, but the kind of boa anarchy that scares the balls off of uh, the average conservative. Yeah, but, yeah, average back to the Ten Commandments and that blue badge in Alabama, um, you know, it's such a fake argument, and he has so little of the Ten Commandments in his heart that he has to have a, a monument to remind him of what they say. Because, you know, today's Christians um, can't really hold anything in their heart or in their mind. See, it has to be all spelled out. And it has to be there in front of them. Because how else are you going to, uh, you know, I mean, what a tool for shoving it in someone's face. And, uh, and boy, the way he, you know, Cried like a you know wounded little piggy when they took away his ten commandments. They took away his rock. Yeah, and uh, but that so has nothing to do with the ten commandments. But hey, kids, keep duping yourself into the belief that these things really matter. And while you're watching um, Doctor Ass having his ten commandments down there in Alabama, um, there's a lot more going on in the world, like say genocide or, you know, things that might actually matter. But you won't hear about that stuff because uh, we're all worried about uh, Ben Affleck breaking up with J-Lo. Uh-oh. Yeah. Give me a gun. Yeah. Oh. oh, man, maybe I have a chance with him. Cool. Yeah. Hey, let's, let's gang right there, Yeah, I'll be yeah, smacking that up. junk in her trunk. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, uh, yeah. Fuck Ten Commandments. Fuck, uh, you know, 
our uh, our brave sitting ducks getting gunned down in Iraq, you know, getting blown up in Iraq, you know, let's let's bang J Lo up the ass. Cool. That's true. Yeah, I'm there. Isn't that isn't that really what the news is about? It is. Banging celebrity J Lo up the ass. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Celebrity yeah. lifestyles and like what a nice house she lives in that you could go to and bang her up the ass in and like you yeah. know and her yeah. like well, if you if you only had the money. If you had the money. That's right. Well, that's what it's We're getting credit cards here. You need these to bang J Lo right. up the ass, baby. Lots of those. Oh yeah, because uh, yeah, and and a primo piece like J Lo is uh, you know uh, to uh, to fuck that one up the old pooch. You know, you're gonna need uh, at least a piece of platinum. Yeah, that's right. And uh, you know, and and I don't know what it'd take me to you know. It's going to cost you $20,000 to bang this gold hole, yeah. J-Lo. Yeah, or, or Ben. How much, how much for a piece of Ben? Oh, jeez. I He'd think it's like 20. Like know. what, a pizza? <laughs> yeah. pizza? A pizza and a six pack. He passes out pretty early. And then just come up behind him and stick um, it in there. What other male celebrities could we have a go at? Celebrity oh. necrophilia, folks. Rip Taylor. We were talking about oh, Rip fucking Taylor. Rip Taylor. Rip fucking Taylor. God, you'd have to pay him forty dollars not to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but only if you're a guy. Only if you're a guy. Yeah, yeah. women just have the question. Um, it's Charles. Yeah, Charles Nelson Marley still living, right? What about John Ritter? John Ritter. Well, oh, John Ritter just died. Yeah, yeah. There we so, go. So it's uh, free now. It's free. Yeah, John Ritter's taking. <laughs> Yeah, it's free. Hey. <laughs> Come and knock on my door. We've been waiting for you. Uh, this is this is the sweet smell of damnation, folks. This is what damnation is like. For the rest of eternity, John Ritter will be hearing that song. And, uh, and, uh, and people will be knocking on his door until... Uh, hey, bring a friend because three's until, company, too. Yeah. Until his brittle... Until his brittle Bones rubble, you know. You'll be like Quasimodo and Esmeralda in the tomb. You, know, just... you can you can wait five years and then pack his uh, his peanut brittle. Yeah. So, think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have to excuse me, folks. The Quasimodo the Quasimodo Esmeralda analogy is a literary analogy, and you know those those of you. Uh, those of you ass monkeys who say that we have no uh, no redeeming value will have to take note. You know, I threw that out just for you. You know, so you know. So like every time we my puckered sphincter. So like every time we make a damning statement, we can just add, you know, like a you know, like a literary reference. You know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so old John. John Ritter's taking the big dirt nap. Um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, what? But, um, but if you could dig up any dead celebrity and, and fuck uh, them. Yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, that's that's a tough one. Could we could we rejuvenate them or reanimate them? No, 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 no. You have to. Yeah, you think? Yeah, it's, right, well, it's a as is. Think man. there's enough left to Jane Mansfield to fork? Possible. Uh, probably not, news. but I mean, in spirit, I think that would be a good idea. I don't know. Well, also, she had eye sockets, didn't she? I mean, yeah, yeah it's not like grease up that skull. Also, I mean, although, you know, in any state, in any state imaginable, Mabel Norman, and a lot of you don't remember Mabel Norman because she's like, you know, a silent movie queen, but, you know, just uh, is, uh, is Is Angela Lansbury dead? I, I think she's still in. Yeah, she just looks more. She looks mummified. Um, it would be a lot like fucking a dead person. Yeah. She might squeak, though, if you stuck it in hard enough, which would differentiate her from a dead person. Roy she Rogers would. and Dale Evans. I'm a oh, trigger. Oh, my God. And trigger. trigger. And trigger. That's about three Let's make it a threesome. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that's called multiculturalism, folks. <laughs> right. That's some serious multitasking. Yeah. Um, well, okay, dead animal. Famous dead animal. Dead animal. Uh, there's the MGM lion. Oh, Secretariat. <laughs> Flipper. Lassie. Flipper. Lassie. Oh, yes. All the Lassies. Yes, all 100 or whatever of them. Yeah, all of which were boys. All of which were guys. Get some of that Lassie dick. Lassie get, some of that, get, some of that get some of that 
you know, canine confusion going for you. Um, Rin Tin Tin. Rin Tin Tin. Wong Wong Wong. Spuds McKenzie. Spuds for hell, yes. Is Spuds, Spuds McKenzie. McKenzie dead? Bonzo. I think so, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Bonzo is most likely dead. Yeah. Yeah, well, and, um, you know, is Spuds McKenzie dead yet? Yeah. Or no. is he just like No, he's still dead. Yeah. 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 No, he's, he's, um, he's a, he's a card. Yes, you know, Ronald Still Reagan breathing. has cabbage for a brain, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, it's, but it's not much of a change from when he was president, so. Yeah. Well, that would just be icing on the cake, I guess. Yeah, I mean. But what does he think, okay, when, when you're, like, uh, in that kind of a state, you know, what do you think all that? What do you do with your thoughts inside of that hundred-year-old cranium that's riddled with Alzheimer's? You know, what kind of fantasies can he be living out day after day? Well, that goes back to the that goes back to the notion of this is damnation, and it could go back to the, <laughs> yeah, and it could go back to the notion well, of this is damnation. It's supposed to suck, and it could go back to the notion of instant karma. Yeah. And in my dream, he's just in my fantasies. Ronald Reagan is just going through life saying, "I can't remember." I yeah. can't remember. Yeah. I can't I remember. That's right. That's I right. can't remember Iran Contra. I can't remember the shady deals I made with the mafia back when I was president of the Screen Actors Guild. I can't remember any of it. Well, which remember. is what he said his whole political. I can't life. remember You're the guilt to take a shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so for the rest of eternity, Ronald Reagan, he's you know, won't be around for the rest of eternity, but in my head, for the rest of eternity, he'll be saying he can't remember or thinking, I can't remember. I can't remember. And hopefully he can't remember things he really, I don't know. You know, people love Reagan, and, you know, oh my, my only my only hope is that he can't remember. Yeah, yeah. well, and, and... I had to live in this country when he was president, and it was hell, and hell, and I was just his own body. So, you know, his own body, it's going to suck. Oh, yeah. Well, and, uh, <gasps> But Nixon, Nixon kind of got a case of the cards on his way out. <laughs> he, he went out kind of rough. How did he and, go out? Uh, yeah, well, well he, I don't remember. I think he just, I, I think he just started falling apart like a bad piece of machinery. <laughs> no, he started falling apart at, like Pat, a bad piece of machinery after Pat died. Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of like, kind of like Johnny Cash. God damn it, I don't want to say anything bad about Johnny Cash. No, this is uh, uh, actually this is a Johnny Cash. Yeah, I, I actually, I actually fucking like Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, right? He's one of the few celebrities that's broke it over the past, you know, what, 20 years that I actually think it's a shame that he has gone. And, um, what about Joey Pond? Joey, oh yeah, Joey. And Dee Dee. And Dee Dee. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we, if Reading we really stopped to think of it, we could come up with probably quite a few celebrities we could love. Warren fucking Zeebo. Now yeah, that, that was a fucking crazy, loss. That's that's a I'm, loss. I'm still bumming over Warren Zeebo. Yeah. Well, yeah. we all, although, although it was kind of like, you know, we all knew where he was going. Yeah. And, you know, set of lawyers, guns, and money, death, shit is hitting the fan. What more can I yeah, say? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, they were Except for his breath. Well, okay. Not that I know personally, it's just something I've heard by reputation. Uh. Christian and you know that's all you can do with them. 
It's an American the, thing to do. And the, the Holy Koran says we may as well just bury all our daughters in the sand, so fucking A. Right on, man. That's right, Chuck. So, uh, yeah. We're all, we're all just hanging out here and being all friendly and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your hands off of me. <laughs> hey, wait, that, that ain't no kind of raghead action. What, what the hell's going on here? No, 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 no. Never no, see no, her no, cry no, the crowd, folks. Hey, what the hell? Wait. Get your fucking hands off me! You're, you're not a dune coon. What the hell's going on? No, oh, I, I got screwed no over. Dune I want my money back. God damn it. When I find that son of a bitch, I'm going to come after him. Come on. I want I want my money back. I want my money back, you son of a bitch. This, that, that shit. Oh, shut up, or oh, I'm going to fuck you up the stovepipe. Oh, god damn woman. You Seltzer is the answer. What was the question? Uh, yeah, how do you sell this shit and not get arrested, I think. Here you go. Ooh, oh, oh. So, you were, uh, Mr. Fat Guy over here, you were talking about some kind of, kind of, kind of political shunt, you know, uh, um, you know. What we're talking about? You had like a newspaper. You can read and everything. I just I, I saw you reading over there. Yeah, grab my dick. Yeah. You talk about politics, and I'm just gonna play with his ding dong. Yeah, she knows her place. That's yeah. it. So she, she's good. She but he knows his place. She knows what that's right. on that's all right. fours in front of me. And sometimes I like it that way, you know. I mean, I act like the farm animals, and then she acts like me. You know? It's role it's playing. All good. Yeah, it's it's role playing. It's healthy. It's kind of a marital aid. So know, well, after we got after we got money, we hired one of them shrinks, and they said it's healthy to role play. So he can be my farm animal now, whenever That's he wants. Right. We can talk about it in public. That's right. And sometimes she can be my daughter, but most of the time I just do it with my daughter. Well, sometimes I and I, and sometimes I pretend that I'm a great squirrel. Yeah, yeah, gray squirrel. It's you know, you're at. Or because they're tight. They'll bite you. They'll when you, bite you. Sure, and that's half the fun. It's like when you put your dick inside of a gray squirrel, it like my it just goes clothes. crazy. It just goes crazy. It goes batshit, and it's so fun. We watch them squirm around. <laughs> Yeah, and and they make such a fuss, and then you pull them off, and they're halfway dead, and they got blood coming out of them. But you know, but he goes off and tells all his squirrel buddies, "Hey, I was lucky. I got some from Billy Nabob." That's right. That's right. So if you get some from him, you can be a happy squirrel too. And let me tell you, let me tell you, some some of that role playing we do. Uh, you know, she acts like she's strange women, and I and I hit her over the head, and it's just it, it's just good practice. It's just good practice because that way, you know, I, I get to explore my sexuality, and these women get to explore their sexuality without having to be sluts and whatnot. So, uh, you know, it's just it's just good for everybody. It's good for the community. It it's is good, good for, for the, the community. community. And like, so so when you go out on these quests, like every and you pick up these strings, you pick up some strings, and you like make them do shit, you know, you bop them in the head, and then you stick it to them, and you know. Don't be a pussy and use them roofies. Roofies is for wussy men. You want to... Well, they're for frat boys. 
Yeah, yeah frat boys, you want to smack They don't have them. enough upper arm strength to smack the crap out of somebody. You know, because, I mean, you know, you want to make it hurt. I mean, women like it when it hurts, you know. You know, it's like the old joke. You're going to give them 10 inches and make them hurt, so you hit them over the head and fuck them twice. I mean, that's the way I do it. Sure. And when I pick up guys and stuff, and I do like that, you know. <laughs> I've been drunk. You're going to drunk all of it. Well, I'm going to. I want to. You're going to fall out on the floor. Yeah. I want to. I'm going to invite all my cousins over. Cool. Make a little money. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about the money. I'm all about the dick. But, you know. She I go, is. She and, is. I'm, and I go to those rest stops, you know. And you always Making got. Making extra money. Well, you always got them queer guys out there giving $10 blowjobs down at the, down, down at the tea room. She uh, undercuts them. I, I undercut, and that's how I make my mind. I do just like Walmart. I understand capitalism. I do like Walmart. I give you a lower price on everything, and it's lower per blow job. I have a lower price per unit, and that means that I get more customers. And so when I'm getting at my money, and the drag queens are counting up their money, I, I win. Too bad. That's right. That's right. Sucks to be you, honey. Yeah, it do. It do. She. 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 That's good horse sense. Then, then, then faggots, uh, you know, they're like the mom and pop store, and she's like Walmart. She's just in there sucking it all up. She's going to get all the cock and just, like, you know, she's, like, like the money is spooge, and she's just sucking all that spooge up. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, Chamber you know, of Commerce, listen up. Listen up here, because, you know, it's just like a never-ending, well, Walmart, you know what I'm talking about. Mike Masterson, listen up. That's right, you know, I mean. You can you, you can't suck it dry. You can suck and suck and suck, and there's just more, more, more jizz money to go. You know. Oh yeah, and everybody wants some of that. I got a commodity, my mouth, that everybody wants a piece of. That's right. And so why don't you, you know, I mean, anybody, anybody wants some, you know, and we'll, we'll just do that thing, and we'll make that business deal. But the whole thing is, you can't tell the police about it because, right. uh, because. Well, because they like being dishonest about things, because we've had prostitution going on in this area since this area existed, oh, no. but we can't talk about it. Well, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, the whole sort of thing, and you understand that, you understand that Mike Masturbator and uh, Egg Farton, you know what I mean? You just got to think of Fayetteville as just like a big piece of ass. And it's just waiting to be tapped. I mean, you got to get it. It's waiting to be tapped, but you can't denigrate it or degrade it. That's right. And you, you have know, to like, you know. You gotta, you know, and you know, like Fayetteville, you know, like the whole tree tree ordinance thing. I understand. You know, you're trying to whore out Fayetteville. You're trying to sell it, piece ass. You're trying to pimp it. So you want to dress it all up and make it pretty. I mean, it's a punk face whore. You know, and you know what, I mean, you got to sell it to them young businessmen and all them people. So, yeah, you want to dress it all up, and you don't want no show like that Abby Lamer on, because it just, you know, you know, you don't want that. You want it to bad, look like real pretty, bad. so they can get their dick all hard and get it in there and blow their spooge, and you get the spooge money. I mean, I understand. Well, that's right. That's why they dressed up Dixon Street like a fancy $5 whore. That's right. They dressed Dixon Street up because yeah, and they're, they're still, still, still than trying a French to, whore. They're still trying to dress Dixon Street up. Oh, it is, uh -huh. man. Uh -huh. And they're trying on all kinds of different dresses on Dixon Street. Yes. Oh, yeah. And Those motherfuckers are really And you know, up. and underneath it, you have the same rotten cunt that always was. That's right. You know, the no. same, same rotten cunt, you know, but you can't go to Roxy. That's oh, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, they got rid of the good. But, you know, you don't want anything classy in a whore. You don't want anything, you know, too individual. I mean, you just want a hole to stick it in there, you know, and that's what they're turning yeah. addiction to. You know, just like in a hole. Well, but you got to buy it. you got to, what, they, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to do is, Basically, they're trying to take the pockmark or yada yada yada, but they gotta yeah, buy some nice, like yeah. Victoria's yeah. Secret lingerie. Oh yeah. Oh. That's makes it much more yeah. better. Yeah. That much more That's salable. What I'm talking about. To yeah. a higher, a higher clientele. I can of, taste that money, Jews. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
carbs on. And, this is important. And he sucks it out That's on right. that. It's good we, protein. It's good for your skin. Uh, and we share. we share. We share. We share. We share a lot. It's the most excellent form of protein. And, uh, you know, I mean, some people complain about sloppy. Let me tell you something. Sloppy seconds. Sloppy at 15. That's uh, what you just get it all greased up in there. And, Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. And when a young family comes into town and stays at the Radisson, they got to know this. That's right, because, I mean, you know, I mean, you you know, we can play that game that Fayetteville's all innocent, whatever, but, I mean, all of them businessmen, you know, and people, they've had their way. We've got Peter tracks all over this town. Uh -huh. and, I, and there's the, I won't even say, but you know where they are, where you can go get the board and play it. Oh, they know, the they league. know. They I mean, know. you know, it's, 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 he's paying for it. Oh, well, <laughs> old sorority girl, you know he's paying for it. He's bitching about the sorority girls. He knows yeah. all about paying uh -huh. for it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, man, they're getting off cheap. They're fucking the prostitutes. Sorority girls, goddamn. Well, Woo. you know what you gotta have to get those. Oh, yeah. You gotta Bill's have gone. them. Yeah, and we, we got them credit cards because we went uh, and yeah, we, we got rich off of horse jism. Horse jism, yeah, they have blow jobs. We are in the horse My, uh, seltzer. Yeah, and we, we are magnates in the horse jism industry. Yeah, it horse jism. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Yeah. Because, you know, this is important. You gotta, you gotta have these things. Billy's, Billy's got them, too. This one right here. I bought all my PBR with that and punched the teeth right out of a fucking waitress. Paid for a dental bill. Woo! Hell yeah! That's yeah. what that's what credit cards will do for you. They give you power. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, man. I got I got all kinds of them. I got, I, I got a whole slew of them too. <laughs> and then you can buy people because you buy the oh. things. Because when you buy the things, you buy the people what's selling it to you. And so you can like I like them boy waiters at places, oh, you know. Oh, boy waiters. Yeah, because you can like get them like you you buy a fancy meal and they have to be all nice to you. Oh. And, shit. and then oh chewy. Yeah. And then they they you know. You know it's you better when they're crying. Let me tell you what. When you're fucking a boy, uh -huh. it's better when they're crying. I was on the phone with a little I've... boy, and uh, yeah, you know, it's like I like to put them aside and say, boy, if you're gonna make it on the farm, you're gonna have to. You know, you're going to have to, like, uh, make a buck like me happy. And, uh, you know, I don't mind if you put up a little bit of a fight. It just kind of makes it that much sweeter. But the little boys, yeah, you can, uh, you can uh, get them credit cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can buy them, you know. They have to be nice to you, and if they see enough of them credit cards, they might follow you home. And then you get to have the real fun with them, and you can... Oh, and, you, know, and you, you can go to the restaurant. Oh, Just yeah. pull, pull the owners. Like, you, you all know this. We're not telling you something you don't know. I mean, pity, you know, people have been bitching about that Abby the Lemur, you know. You just pull the little manager aside and say, uh, hey, I've had too much to drink over here, and that little boy's ass and them khakis looking pretty good, and uh, I know you got a back room around here where I can, uh, you know, go back in there and be kind of romantic and, you know, kind of smack them around a little bit. You get a little makeup on them, cover up the bruises. Yeah, well, and then they say something stupid like, that's my, uh, that's my son, and you say, hey, I got a credit card, shut the fuck up and bring me that boy. You know get what, out it's got a $23,000 limit that changes their whole, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, let me go get the old little, little boy with the colic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll do that. that. And then you can take, you can take them You got to be willing to sell your own son's piece of ass to make some money. You know this, you know this, you know. I mean, that's what you're saying about Fayetteville, you know. That is the fundamental law. That's right. And then you take that boy home after you done fucked him, and he's got, like, this bleeding sphincter and everything. And Oh, I'm getting hot things. But you get that all bloody, and then you throw them out to those hogs, and you make sure that hogs are hungry. And they'll chew a hole right up through his guts, and we just stand there and say, yay! Sometimes Eat. you can fuck it, but you know what the best part about doing that is? Boys young enough, a lot of these people hire boys young enough, after they disappear, you still get to jack off to the pictures on the milk cartons. So, yeah, it's just, it's just a win-win situation no matter how you look at it. If you got money, you got money. You got, now, if you don't have the money, you, don't have money. you can't be playing this game. You, you're not even in the if ballpark. You have money, if you don't have money, you're a criminal. 
Yeah, you're you don't have money, Abby, you Lee suck. Yeah, you suck. I mean, you know. Well, you deserve whatever you get. Yeah. You yeah, like them people down in the jail right now, like they don't have oh, money, yeah. and the people at, and the people that go to like you know, I mean, the people that um, have to have handouts and stuff, like they don't have money. So, so like fuck them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because people well, that don't have money, well. People don't have money they go to smell, jail. And they smell. And they smell. Well, I mean, I smell, but I've got money. And, uh, you smell like money. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, I stink. It oh, was yeah, you stink. Wasn't that a Tom Cruise flick, The Smell of Money? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. The, stink of, the Stink of Money or something. But, uh, well, I mean, when he, you yeah. know. But, like, you know, that's just like, you know, if you got money, you don't got to go to jail, man. You can run someone over, you know, if you're drunk. But, you know, I got some friends of mine, my friend, uh, you know, she had to go to jail, she had to work in there, because she's poor. Well, she's not a friend of mine, not anymore, I mean, you know, she don't have any damn money. I mean, why, why should she be my friend? What can, what have you riff done raff. for me lately? Riff raff. Yeah. Riff raff. Riff raff, you know, a little, little whatever, but, uh, yeah, on the side of the road with the little orange pajamas, picking up stuff, and, uh, you know, the poor people, fuck them, you know. And free, free money for the city, though. You know, it's yep, not coming yep. out of my tax money or, her, I mean, you know, yep. like I ever pay taxes, but uh, like free choice, Fayetteville. Free choice, you know, I mean, hell, yeah, you got the slaves, slaves, I mean, you know, they're white slaves, but you know what, it's not about color, it's a fact you can get someone out there and you can, like, bust their ass and make them do what you want them to do, I mean. Well, it sure doesn't matter if they're you know, black, that's white, or good. Or that goes right back, it's, it's better. Good. Horse sense. It's, it's better if it's brown. Good, good business sense. Is good for and it's good for the community. That's right. It's good for the community values, community standards. That's community the standards. Them guys in their orange pajamas. That yeah. is good community standards. Community values. standards. That's um, right. Because they're, you know, good community standards. And that's bad. Yeah. yeah. And, that's and bad well, they are bad people. I don't have any money. I mean, Hell, man, I can snort cocaine all night long. I can go beat the shit out of someone. I can even put in jail for it, because, you know, I'll just, uh, you know, they pull me over. I show uh, Mr. Officer, you know, Mr. Ben Franklin, and uh, I'm on my way. But you get pulled over, you don't have money. Uh, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's all, all about the Benjamins. Benjamins. Yeah, sure. And, the life, life got, yeah, like he said, the cocaine, I can snort cocaine. Eighteen-year-olds, tight belly. Oh, an eight-year-old. It doesn't matter because you show matter. them Benjamins, and you're gonna be out of there. You're gonna be scot-free, and you're gonna sure, be able I, to go right back to the mansion. But I don't then, go to the jail unless I'm just looking for some fun. Then I'm paying a couple of bendies, you know, right there and saying, uh, "Hey, you got any little boys around here that have been bad? You know, Billy yeah. wants likes them bad boys." Or maybe some great big. Big old muscly big old, stud. Old, big old buck. Oh. Yeah, oh, big old buck, and like you can just, you It's know. like in a romance novel. You know how the woman always gets attacked by some big old buck, and she's all fighting and not wanting him to shove it in there. What? You can play it the other way around and go to that prison. You can be attacked by a big old buck. Oh, yeah, and, but, but yeah, that big old buck, he, he, you know, he ain't bulletproof. And no, you that can, big old be buck stuck. still gets his ass kicked in the end. Oh yeah, and oh, you can go in yeah. there and you can tell the guard, you say, hey, you sons of bitches, you turn off them cameras and you show them that money, you oh. get your big buck in there, you just club him over the head oh, until yeah. he bleeds out the eye sockets. You like a baby him. seal. Like, club him like a baby Beat seal. Like a baby seal. That's oh, that's seal. right, that's right. You can get him on his knees and you can do anything that you want and you can, you know, you know, I, I, like, I like the little thing with the broomstick, you know. On the broomstick. You take that oh, broomstick yeah. and you shove it up the ass and you do it real, real hard. And there's always that point on the broomstick. The happy that mark. Hit, the happy, happy mark. mark. Yeah. Because uh, when you shove something up the ass and it hits that point where they scream, you make a mark on it and that's their happy mark. And, you know, and eventually if you do it like 20 times, the happy mark goes up a little. It keeps the old and we like to refer to that in the industry as the Cox Communications Regional Corridor. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, you know, and, and the great thing about that is when you're all done with them, you can have like that 
fucking guy up in uh, up in New York, you know, it's like they have to get a colostomy you showing up in there far enough. And you know, then when they're all done, they get all that fixed up, you've got another hole to fuck. So yeah. that just that just it's just icing on the cake. Yeah, let's hear it for colostomy bag. Got colost oh fuck the colostomy bag. We're all about we'll, fucking the colostomy you know, bag. Well, What's oh, also good awesome. about them prisoners is I like to go in there and uh, get what's called a uh, raspberry, yeah, it's a, it's a strawberry raspberry funnel cake with cream topping on it. And what that is, is where you bend one of them over, you stab them in the ass with a knife, then stick your dick in there and use the blood for lubricant, and then you pull it out and you jack off all over that. And it's, uh, it's called a uh, raspberry chocolate funnel cake. It's cool. good. Oh, it's the best. And you know what? If you don't have money, you're not going to experience that. No, because it's, it's called a crime. Uh, if, you, if you have pleasure. money, you if you don't have money, you are going to experience well, that. Well, I mean, you, be on you get on the end other end, 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 you get on the end of it. Yeah. So if you're yeah. poor, just wait for that colostomy, buddy. You, get the colostomy. It's you won't get to eat it, but you'll get to cook it. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, you know, because the message... Everybody gets to be part of the action somehow. Yeah. That's right. Well, sure. Well, you know, it's just a matter of the rich and the poor. Of, uh, you know, either you're the one that's going to get a colostomy and get it fucked, or you're going to be fucking the colostomy hole. That's the, you know, that's, you know, which side would you rather be on? That's the whole equation. Well, Mark Masturbator understands this. I mean, which, which one do you want to be? You know? Hey, I got the I'm money. Gonna, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. I got your money. Hey. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> you keep backing up, woman, and I'm taking an insurance policy out on you. Oh, I'm trembling over here. Yeah, I don't really yeah, have one on you. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I have, but I have. I sucked the. Yeah. Well, I sucked off a lot of horses to get you that horse. So I'm part yeah, of that's, right. that's, that's right. That's right. So you know, and after a hard, and I'll tell you what's worse than horses, donkeys. When you're sucking oh. off donkeys, it it just it, it's kind of one of them things, you know. Where the best thing to do is milk the prostate. But I get behind to milk that prostate. She sucks on them. You wouldn't believe the amount of spooge. It's just unreal. It's unreal. And the sound they make when they're doing it is like so funny. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and, and she almost choked to death one time. I had to give her the mouth to mouth and I had to suck. Must have been a quart of that fucking mule jism out of there. Oh, oh man. It was, my man, I felt healthy afterwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because that stuff makes you help. And it's like sometimes, like with sheep, okay? You take a sheep, and after you fuck it, you take that sheep, and you take your knife, and you split it down the middle, and you make sure it's still alive so that lanolin is still hot, and you get inside of that sheep gut, you know, and you get under the skin and tear it off, and you get that lanolin oh, all over it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh. you take that, and oh. it makes good jack-off cream. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm getting all turned on here, woman. Yeah. Oh, 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 Billy, don't want to spill none of this. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 yes. Oh, Billy, oh, Billy. I'm so good I call out my own name. Bill. Oh, yeah. It should be known oh, at this point that the oh, Abbey of the yeah. Lemur oh, does not oh, advocate land. <laughs>
about your thing. Say goodbye to them. Be a close yourself. Be a piece of meat. Be everything you can. Take them back to waste. Take me with you. Take the prisoners out. It's nice garden. This is where I belong. This is the place of supper. Let me take you with me. Let me take you with me. Let me take you with me. With me. Hi, I'm Patrick Carr. And I'm David Cater. And we're with the Christian Association of Stellar Explorers, the Amateur Astronomy Club of Silo and Springs. We've been talking about Mars today. Please uh, tune in to the Kane Interview Series on CAT TV here in Fayetteville. Like that or you want to do that? Oh, that's fine. Sure. You're watching the Kane interviews on the CAT, and I can promise you you're in for a treat. Shannon's a great interviewer, and she finds fantastic and interesting people to talk with. Enjoy. Whenever you feel comfortable, begin. Hi, I'm Hal Marshall with www.longrifles.com. You're watching CAT. If you're interested in muzzle loaders, catch the Kane interviews right here on CAT TV. That was good? Yeah, All right. Hi, it's Billy Bob Thornton. You're watching CAT, Community Access Television, Fayetteville. Uh, my name is Al Vick, and I'm with the new Arkansas Independent Media Center. Let me see one of those flyers. Show it. Uh, actually, it's not so much a flyer as a sticker. You can put it on your refrigerator, put it on your, your windows. You can um, sticker. put it on your bumper. Just about anything you'd like to do with it, really. But most importantly, look us up. The URL is on the top there. We stand for Independent Journalism. And we're a worldwide network, and we are the local aspect of that for Arkansas.
When I was young, my mother told me not to question authority. Don't fight the system, she told me. They'll get you every time. My God, it's counselor said gas and grapes to me. When it was my head, I was trying to fix. Mother nature, it ain't what you told me. It hurts me when you lie. I'm just leaving with what I Hello, you are watching CAT Community Access Television in Fayetteville, Arkansas, home of the most original programming around. Say, did you know that you can watch programs made by the people and for the people? Probably by people you even know. Not only that, you can make your own show, too. They'll even show you how and let you use their equipment. So, if you just got something you want to say or something you'd like to show, come on down to CAT. 101 West Rock Street in Fayetteville or call 444-3433.